Yeah, this is where the Volkswagen is up here in the side yard. Well, here we are again, going down that side street to check on the Quonset hut. And we probably have some bad news to tell you. Well, there it is. It's still there. Still there. But it's got an excavator in front of it. So that doesn't look good. They've chopped down all the trees. So this thing could be gone tomorrow. Literally. So this is the machine that's probably going to destroy some 60 years of history in a few minutes. And yeah, we had wanted this thing to go to the Seabees, and the, the tragedy is we even got Historic New England interested in acquiring this property. But they needed a little bit of time to fundraise. So the woman at Historic New England contacted the developer and couldn't get a hold of them. And we think the developer decided, oh, I'll demolish it sooner rather than later to shut these people up. But who knows? The guy's just not talking to anyone. Why should he? All he cares about is knocking this thing down, making a little bit of a, some money on a house that isn't even going to be built for him. And there goes our World War II history, history of our veterans, right in a dumpster. It's kind of disgusting. This is the last of its kind in the country. Yeah, there are Quonset huts around, but their insides have all been gutted out or rehabbed so that they look nothing like they did when they were being used for veterans village housing right after the war. This is a forgotten chapter of post-war history, but Quonset Hut veterans villages were everywhere in the country. Now they're all gone and this rare survivor that's very much intact on the inside will probably be gone too within a matter of days. So many people said, oh, good luck, hope you save it, but we got absolutely no help from people who could have made a difference, even if it was just writing a letter and making their opinions known that this building should be saved. But we're just a bunch of nobodies, Richard and me. So I guess our opinion on what's historic doesn't count. Well, Richard, we tried, we fought the good fight, yeah, we did, and unfortunately not enough other people wanted to get behind us and help. Yep, and it's a sad thing because we're just a bunch of local historians. It really isn't up to just us, you know, sending out emails, appealing for help. Organizations that say they care about history should have been behind us. Veterans groups should have been behind us. But, you know, they just didn't care. Yep, the list goes on and on, and as Hillary Clinton said about something else, it takes a village. Yeah. And now we're going to drive off, and this probably will be the last time we see this building intact. We tried. And once it's gone, it'll be forgotten. No one will care. No one will really remember. That's what happens when you collect photos of things that once existed, but don't bother to save the real thing.